I grew up in a non-swearing household, not because my parents are soft, but because my dad would say, if you need to swear, you don't have a good command of the English language. I think there are exceptions to that rule, but for the most part, I keep most of my reviews and videos fairly PG. However, there is only one way of describing a Nissan 370Z Nismo with the traction control off, and that is f scary. Now, I'm a brilliant driver, so I won't be crashing, but it is quite alarming when the rear of a car tries to overtake the front while you're moving. But that aside, does this nine-year-old front-engine rear-wheel drive coupe still pack a punch? Well, yes, it does. It's got a 3.7-litre V6, which produces 339 horsepower, which is not too shabby. It also has a six-speed manual gearbox so it's a true driver's car and it's quite a short shift gearbox so it feels very very pleasant very satisfying to change through the gears something I have noticed is the way the gearbox works in this car now I'm not sure if I'm being automotively illiterate and I've just not noticed it in other cars but it's very apparent in this car so when you change down gears or through the gears when it's into neutral in between the gear change it's almost as if it revs in preparation for the new gear. So, for example, I'm in fourth, I'm doing 55 miles an hour, the revs are at 3,000. Now, if I change down to third, for example, into neutral, it jumps up, and then I'm in fourth and I'm doing 4,000, four and a half. It jumps as if, yep, yeah, that's what you want. I'm not sure if it's a design, but it's a lovely feature. This is fun to drive. This is fun to drive. Tunnel. Just scoot around this lorry that I've been stuck behind and talk about the ride. It's very firm. Firm enough to make you think, yeah, I could drift this around the Japanese mountain range. But also, if I hit a pothole in the UK, it's probably going to hurt my back just a little bit. Another thing I've noticed in driving this car for a few hundred miles is that it's incredibly noisy, but not noisy in the usual sense because of tyre noise on the road or a lack of sound insulation, but I think because of these massive wheel arches, which when you're in the cabin, you are practically sat right on top of. The beating of pebbles and grit is fairly relentless, but that is a small price to pay for a rear wheel drive V6 coupe that looks this cool and costs less than £20,000. Truly, I think this is a fantastic looking car. The wide stance, the meaty spoiler, and the strange door handles as described by my nephew. It also looks really cool at night. With this area strangely being my focus, the rear edge plate lights are so bright, and this is such a little alcove, it just creates a really standout feature at the rear. It also has red interior lights, which I'm not sure is standard, but it's very cool nonetheless. This specific example has also had a massive interior upgrade from the previous owner, but it comes as standard in red and black, which is always gonna be a winner in my view. The previous owner has also dip painted all the plastic components under the bonnet and also mirrored the bonnet. That's a bit much for my liking, but different horses for different courses. Now for a few quirks, one of the main ones I've noticed is the boot button is there, but you lift there pretty strange not come across that before another quirk for you this is the biggest petrol cap i've ever seen my hands are pretty big it's huge it's like the size of a basketball look how big it is i think because it follows the odd shape of the car but yeah very large. The final quirk, which is no doubt one of the most random quirks I've ever seen on a car, is the boot liner. Looks fairly normal when in the car, but when you lift it out of the car, it looks like an asymmetric manta ray. Very strange. But what is it actually like to drive? Well, aside from tremendously scary, actually, very, very fun. When you get to the higher revs, it really, really starts to come alive. And with the traction control on, you would have to be a tremendous clown to bin this car, which is good because it's a car that's known for going sideways, but you can have some safe fun in it. And that might be due to the front bumper or the massive wing, which according to Nissan, gives this more downforce than 
any of its rivals. Nice one, Nissan. But speaking of rivals, from what I've read, the Porsche Cayman has always been a rival to this car. And from my experience, the Porsche Cayman is a better car on road and a better car on track. Mountain pass, drifting track, this would probably win. But I assume the Porsche Cayman represented a problem when trying to sell this out of the factory. That being said, its German counterpart has always and remains much more expensive than this. Even now, a 2013 Cayman with similar mileage to this, you're talking around 36,000 minimum, which is a substantial bonus for this car. And if you did want the back end to be loose, the JDM car is the obvious choice. It's also just a bit more badass than the Cayman. I like how those three dials point directly at your face and the rev counter, like in the Porsche, takes precedent in the center, but this actually says rev on it. And I also like how the traction control button is there. So very easily you can go from control to out of control mode at the push of a button. That's a very nice feature. But just a side note, when you press that button, this is, this is how it drives. Be aware, <laughs> be aware people. With the traction control off, this is one of the loosest rear end V6s I've ever driven. And it's not even close. Let's turn that back on. Peace is restored. Confidence is restored. I would absolutely love to have a go in one of these on the track. This is a tame review for a car like this. It is a sales car, we're only on roads. I'm not gonna bin a car that frankly doesn't belong to me but for now my review of the 370 what a car so would i buy one probably yes unfortunately really really scary doesn't lend itself to a proper road test especially when you don't have access to a track and particularly when the car belongs to your boss but one thing i will say with a degree of certainty are you going to find a rear wheel drive v6 coupe that is that cool for less than 20,000 pounds. I doubt it. I really doubt it. I'll see you all next time. Peace. Let's get it done, let's go get it done. Bye bye, bye bye. God, I like this car. Around these cyclists, keep going, well done. Nearly killed those ladies. But speaking of rivals, from what I've read, the Porsche Cayman has also